What do you think? I'm not going to upstage the bride, am I? It looks fine. Fine. You do realise I spent half the day getting measured up for this, discussing colour and cloths with a bloke who was, quite frankly, giving me the eye. Not exactly my comfort zone, so I expect a little bit more than fine. I'm sorry, it looks gorgeous. You'll look great in it. <laughs> and you'll look absolutely amazing in yours. Not that you don't always. Still, I wish I hadn't seen your dress. It's supposed to be bad luck. Oh, come on, you don't really believe in all that, do you? Fortunately not. I think our fate is firmly in our own hands. I do, however, believe in tradition. And hope you realise the sacrifice I'm making for you. One whole night without you. Well, it'll give you time to mull it over. Maybe you'll have second thoughts. Never. You're everything to me, Carly, you know that. Yeah, I know. Come on. We better get a move on, cos them girls will be wondering where we are. I'm not looking forward to this wedding. Wedding? Frank and Carla's. Oh, right. I still think the bloke's a creep. Well, it's a day off at least, eh? Yeah, I suppose. Huh. You don't hate me, do you? What? Not for saying that I don't want a kid. Look, I know it's not fair, cos I've got a child and you haven't, but... I'm not saying that Dylan isn't yours, but what I mean is... No, I know what you mean, Sean, and like I keep saying, it's fine. Except it isn't, is it? I can tell. I'm sorry that I've hurt you. I wish I hadn't, but... I have to be honest. No, and I'm glad you were. Besides, it was my fault. I was pushing too hard. It's only because you were excited. It was a daft idea, anyway. I was just getting carried away, that's all. But... Look, let's just leave it, OK? Maybe I'll get a kitten instead. Oh, I don't think I'll be too happy about it. Joke. All right. And you better be getting off. All right. I'll see you tonight. Oh, ma'am, how many times? Seven steps. Sorry. One, two, three. Oh, hiya. Seven steps? Away from the door. Stops Mum's filthy cigarette smoke blowing in. Mm. It's not good for the baby, you know. Oh, you've been at it and all. Yeah, I don't know. Need to pack up. Yeah, if I had a quid for every time... time I said it, yeah. Anyway, look, how are you? I'm stressed. Yeah, I heard about the row you had with Becky. Oh, well, she can keep the crummy flat because I am going to get something so much better. I love her. Hey. And when I do, I tell you, there's going to be no cigarette smoke, no queuing up for the bathroom, and no Radio 3 blaring out. And no babysitters on tap. Told her she doesn't have to move out. You're just enjoying using Steve as a credit card. Well, why shouldn't she? He should pay his ways. He got pregnant. Exactly. Well, the last I heard, it took two. He's doing his best. Yeah, well, he's just going to have to try harder. Well, wouldn't you be better at home with us? I mean, not home. I know it's not home. No, it is home. You and Ronald always do me home. But I can't keep putting on your own. I just don't like the idea of you being on your own with all this happening. Well, don't be really worrying about it. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Don't stop. I'm sure you're all having a great laugh. Uh, none of us are laughing, Becky. We think what they've done to you is awful. Yeah, that Tracy should be strung up. Yeah, and as for Steve, he deserves everything he gets. Which one's pregnant again? <sighs> You know, if you ever need to talk, Becky. Thanks, guys. But, like, I'm fine, aren't I? Cos I know it's laughing, I got flat. <laughs> oh. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Hey, Peter. I think they're angling for a day off. <laughs> no, don't be daft. It's lovely to see you. Do you want a cup of tea? No, no, I can't stop. I've just come to ask a favour, really. Are you working today? Uh, nope. It's my day off. Well, it was supposed to be mine and all, but Audrey's gone home with a migraine, so she's asked me to step in, but I've got no one to have Liam. Would you want me to? Do you mind? No. I know it's a lot to ask and you've probably already made plans, haven't you? No, I'd love to. Oh, you're a star, Marcus. Listen, he's just saved me from a fate worse than death. I was just about to buy a collapsible shoe rack from the shopping channel. <laughs> now, we'll be all right together, won't we, Liam? Say bye. See you later. Bye. How many units did Dunstan's order? 500. I thought so. Incredible. What? I've just Googled the Maldives. You should see the colour of the sea. I'll send you the link. Frank, we are here to work. We've got to go snorkelling when we're there. Where's Ailey with that flaming coffee? You know, for someone who's about to get married and jet off to an exotic location, you seem a little bit tense. 
Yeah, sorry. But it's just we've got a lot to sort out before we do, haven't we? Point taken. From now on, I shall concentrate on work. Though it's a bit difficult with you sat opposite. Can you come quick? Why? What's happened? It's just something we need you to sort out. Both of you. You're on a tea break. Oh, we are, yeah. So what's the word in the kettle blown a fuse? Okay. What's going on? tomorrow, but we couldn't resist. I got the bride made the cake. Yes, and I got the bride and groom. And it was my idea. <laughs> but partly my idea. Well, it is really, really kind of all of you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh. We were going to get some champagne, but we thought, oh, well, how was it? Do you know? Absolutely, but tea's great. Let's have tea. Yeah. I'll be mother. Aww. Well, that looks delicious. Shall we have it now? Oh, yeah, of course. Hey, no, hang on. Practice for tomorrow. Let's do it properly. Oh. Come on, Carla. Ready? Oh. No, don't cut us in half. We're not divorced before we're married. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Yay! Yay! Well done. Well done, dear. Right, Mrs. Connor, or should I say Mrs. Foster to be? Oh, no, you're kidding, aren't you? I've got to fit into that dress tomorrow. Oh. In fact, I better just nip to the bistro, check everything's going all right. Yeah, good idea. Thank you. Thank you. Shall we put some music on? Yeah, why not? It's a celebration. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I hope she knows what she's getting herself into. Yeah, because from tomorrow it's all downhill. Don't matter how many vows a bloke makes, they all break them in the end. But I'm well chuffed for you and Marcus, though. You two are great together. Actually, we've had a tiff. My fault. Huh. Just buy some flowers then, I'll soon forgive you. <laughs> oh, right, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to check the seating plan with you. Fine. Right, so I've got you and Frank here, relatives here and here, and did you say you wanted all your employees sat together? Yeah. Right, um, flowers are coming in the morning, a pink orchid on every table like you ordered, and do you want to check the menu? I'll tell you what, I'll check the wine first, please. Make it a big one. Yeah, I told you it was easy, didn't I? Thanks. That's one. OK, right, I'll get that. Hey, up. Girlfriend's here. What? Oh, yeah. Well, it's Monday and you still haven't run. I, I was going to. But you forgot my number. No. I just didn't want to appear too keen. No such thing as too keen in my book. Compliment, innit? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. So you're not put off by me just turning up then? No way. Good. Only it's my day off and I thought I could come round this after if you fancy doing something. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he does. Sling it. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm working, I'm afraid. Ty, you're the boss, man. Give yourself the afternoon off. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, of course I yeah. I can. I will. Great. See you later. <laughs> You're the man. I'm the man. Yeah. It's your birthday. Oh, what time? Uh, whenever. Whenever it is. <clears throat> Did you crack the whip then? Oh no, I didn't have to. They had everything under control. Good. Come here. Come here, Carla Connor. I am so very much in love with you. You've made me so happy. Don't get soppy on me. Make the most of it. We'll be married soon. I'll be taking you for granted. <laughs> You've been drinking? No, no, I just tasted the wine, that's all. Make sure it was up to scratch. Well, it should be. The amount is costing. Don't worry, it was. <clears throat> oh, better get this. Hiya. Yeah, great. All right. Well, we could meet now if you wanted. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Bye bye. Who was that? Potential client. Well, can't it wait? I was hoping to take you for lunch. Well, she seemed pretty keen. She could put a load of money our way. Typical of you working right to the last minute. Yeah, it would be a shame to miss out, wouldn't it? I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Okay. Actually, you know what, Frank? She's got a real downer on men at the moment. It's a messy divorce and it's my trump card, a bit of female solidarity. Whoa, say no more. You take that one. Okay. Well, I'll see you later then. Just promise me one thing, Carla. 
You'll at least switch your phone off for the wedding. I promise. So how are you feeling? Oh, bored. I can't stand doing nothing. Nah, it's a good job you're sitting down then. <laughs> you can laugh. You'll be going out your mind sitting on here all day. Eh, uh, you can always get a cushion. Oh, hey, Steve, there's a whole house going in Swinton. Uh, a whole lot of money, no doubt. Anyway, Swinton's too far. OK, then, back to plan B. Victoria Court? I can't afford it. Well, what do you suggest, then? Well, we'll just have to wait till things pick up. Oh, and how long's that going to take until our child is five and starting school? Anyway, my parents can't be expected to take on another kid, not with Amy and me. We'll manage. You're entitled to more space at your age. Do you know, it's funny she's never said that before. Oh, well, I want more space. I don't care about anybody else. Uh, we're out of cheese and honey, Chris, mate. I'll get some from the bed. Oh, I'll get them. No, you're supposed to be resting. Steve, I think I can manage a bag of crisps. And then... <clears throat> Where's Star? Oh, she's just nipped to the loo. Oh, that's all. I'm just getting some crisps. Mum, you know what the doctor said? I'm just stretching my legs. What my fault. You should be keeping an eye on him, mate. He's rushed off his feet in there. Tough. Right, you. If you can't stay on your stool, it's back to the couch. Oh, for goodness uh, sake. I mean it, Stell. Oh. Uh, don't suppose you could help us out, could you? Nope. I've already got a job working for the opposition. Oh, God, that's all I need. Uh, I'll get these. No, no, I'm going to get them. Do you want any trouble? I want an orange juice, two white wines and a cider, please. All right. Oh, look, Steve, this one's got a garden. Somewhere nice for the kiddies to play. Tracy. You know, Becky, did me a favour taking that flat because now Steve is going to get me something much bigger. Well, you'll need it, size you're going to be. Right, and your bum's spreading already. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least I can give Steve what he wants, and I'm not just talking... Come on, Tracy, let's go and sit in a booth, shall we, love? Well, uh, <laughs> sit down. Do you want a coffee? Please. You look nice. Cheers. So do you. Hey, did that role survive? No. It was dead when I woke up. Oh. Let's hope it's not a symbol of our relationship. Yeah. I've blown it, haven't I? What? I should have waited for you to ring or... rather not ring. I'll go. I don't want you to go. You're the one who said it, too keen. That's me. I see something I want and I just go for it. I, I never stop to think. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I, I think too much and never end up doing it. I really like you, Kirsty, honest. So why are you acting so awkward? Because we're not used to all this dating stuff. You did all right the other night. Yeah, but that's because we was out and, you know, I'm just chatting and that. Whereas now you think I'm going to leap on you? <laughs> no. Well, I don't know. I'd quite like it if you leapt on me. Then at least I wouldn't have to think about what to say or do. But at the same time, I'd feel guilty. You've got a girlfriend. I've got a wife. No, no, it's all right. She's dead. It... I didn't. I didn't mean it like that. It... She was gonna leave me, and the... then she died. It's all a bit of a mess. See. I guess I'm saying I just. I forgot how to have fun with a woman. It's all a bit scary. <laughs> Sound like a right wimp, don't I? You can go if you want. Not had me coffee yet. Might be a saving grace. I've had a close look at the contract. And? It's not looking good. I don't know whether you ever read the small print, but the terms of your agreement put him in the driving seat. Basically, you can't get rid of him without his consent. You're kidding me. You may recall you were pretty desperate for his money at the time. And he drew up the contract. Which you signed before consulting us. Oh, idiot. Sorry, me, not you. Still. If you decide not to split up, then none of this really matters. <laughs> ah, I see. 
In that case, I suggest you make it as amicable as you can. Oh, don't worry, I intend to. Apart from anything else, Frank's a good man. I don't want to hurt him any more than I have to. So what do you think we should get them? Well, what do you get the couple who've got everything? I don't even know why we bother collecting. Well, how much did we get again? £52, 34 pence and 7 euros. Oh, I wish people wouldn't do that. So are you ever going to show your face to three cars again? Well, it's not for the want of trying. As you can see, the staff is sort of depleted. Right, same again, ladies. Oh, you got the last one. You good? Well, I'm celebrating, aren't I? I'm celebrating my new home. Plus the fact that I'm going to be quids in when my divorce comes through. Yeah, well, I wouldn't count your chickens because there's not going to be much left once Steve starts paying rent. Tracy. And I won't count yours either, love. Because by the time I've done with him, he won't be able to afford it. Can't afford it now. Oi. Same again, please, landlord. What I wouldn't give to be in a cab right now, driving very far away from here. Yeah, well, before you do, don't forget, you owe me and all. Thanks for that. You've only got yourself to blame. Don't you think I know that? Don't you think I want to pay you back? Don't you think I want to give Becky a fair settlement? Don't you think I want to be able to buy somewhere for me kids to live? Plain fact is, I can't. So go on, have a go like everybody else, because you're all right, I'm a failure. I've let everybody down, as usual. Two, three. Which way should we do? Tina! You alright? <laughs> You're not going back to the house, are you? Yeah, why? Oh, well, I wouldn't, because Tyrone's got cursed you around, and I reckon they're open for the house themselves, if you know what I mean. Alright. Come to the cafe with me, though. I'll buy you lunch. Right, are you kidding about them? No. No, I'm alright, Tom. Matt's already bought me lunch. Something swanky, no doubt. Yeah. It was rather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's boxed in. You're definitely boxed in. Yes, all right, Daddy. Thank you, I know. What's up? We've been boxed in. Oh, I don't believe this. That must be the same car. I had a run-in with this girl the other night because I blocked a car in by mistake. This must be a pathetic payback. Surely not. But it can't be coincidence, the flaming cheek. Well, all right, we'll just get a cab. Hey, why should you have to pay out for a cab just because I'm bullshit cow trying to get her own back? It's not on Rita. Nevertheless, that's what we're going to do. Otherwise, we shall miss the theatre. Right, well, at least let me ring one for you. Right, well, I will leave the owner a note. Uh, yeah, two, right. Have you got a pen? Uh, yeah, here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Right, the line's engaged. I'll run round for you. Yeah, we're definitely boxed in. Hey, I've been thinking, maybe we should forget about renting. Really? Yeah, it makes much more sense to buy somewhere. That way it's an investment instead of dead money. Tracy, I can hardly afford rent, let alone a mortgage. No, it will probably work out the same. No, 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 look, I doubt I'd even get one with my finances. Right, well, what are me and your kids supposed to do, Steve? Sleep on the streets? I'm not saying that. Look, we'll discuss it later. We'll sort something else. Talk about kicking a man when he's dying. You are? I don't think he's got enough on his plate without you adding to it. Oh, what's it got to do with you? You're as bad as Becky. Between the pair of you, you're going to bleed him dry. How dare you compare me with Becky? Look, you're using him. You know he wants to do right by you, so you're out for what you can get. You don't give a damn about him. No, that's not true. I do. Well, you've got a funny way of showing it, love. Oh, well, thanks for the support, ma'am. What can I say? He's right. There's the cab on its way. Oh, thanks, love. Any sign of her? No. Oh, never mind. These things happen. Mm. Left to know. Oh, here it is now. Oh. Rita, that is more like an apology. That's not a complaint. No harm in being polite. See you later, love. Yeah, see you. Oh, thank you. Okay, everybody, listen up. Uh, I need you to work overtime tonight. Oh. oh, I'm kidding. The singing was great, but it was the cake that swung it. Go on, you can have an early dinner. Oh, thanks, Mr. Foster. Well, I'll have to have you looking your best for tomorrow. Oh, don't worry, we won't let you down. Well, I won't anyway. <laughs> What's happening? I'm sending them home in celebration of our forthcoming nuptials. Oh, it's so exciting. For you, Mrs. Connor. 
Oh, so please, people. Oh, I'm sorry, I just couldn't help it. <laughs> so we all. No, no, no. <laughs> right. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hey, you don't mind me sending them home, do you? No, of course not. You okay? Did the meeting not go well? Carla. Frank, we need to talk. Well, I was hoping something happened. Oh, you're such a lovely bloke. You're the best, in fact. Got to be the best, marrying the best. What? God, I'd do anything not to have to say this. Then don't. I have to. No. No. I'm so sorry, Frank. It's over. I can't marry you. While well, Coronation Street continues at 8.30...